Welcome to the channel, Cooking with Chef Buka. Please don't forget, subscribe, share, like, tell a friend to tell a friend. Let's get into it. Alright, yes, we're back at it again. Here, so we're going to make some fig jam straight off the fig tree. Nice. Nice, nice fig tree we have. That's a whole heap of fig ripening up, and they ripen up a little bit too quick. So, what we're going to do, we're just going to make some fig jam. There's some more right here. Some more up in the top right there. Ripen, looking all dark. When they get darker, the better it is. So, we're just doing what we do. So we're going to pick a few fig. One right here. Nice and ripe, soft. This one, no, no, that one ready a little bit more. You know, we're not pressuring it. Yeah, ready a little bit more. And we got some lemongrass right here. We're going to use a little bit in it for flavor, just a bit of it. Not too much. Two stalks is good enough, okay? We're going to pick some more fig over here. Make sure we get what we need for the fig jam. This one right here. Look all nice. So we're going to take this one too. Yeah. And I just break it off. You know, there's a lot of stain in them too. So, you know, everything go. Yeah. Put it right here in the bowl. So we've been starting picking a few before. If you guys know this. We have a lot of it right here. So what we're going to do, we're going to bring them inside. Simple, quick ingredients, you know what I'm saying? Not too much of sugar, a little bit of lemon juice if you have it. To be honest with you, I don't even need lemon juice in mine. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do is fig, sugar, and with the lemongrass. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, or you can call it fever grass as they do in Jamaica, okay? But it's kind of have that kind of lemon flavor to it. You know what I'm saying? So you're going to give it a lemon taste. All right, so what we're going to do, we're going to go back inside, start putting the stuff together, and we go from there. So, all right, we're back at it again, doing what we do best, making it happen. As we said before, you guys saw me outside, fever grass. We're going to put them in there just like this. Okay. We're using a cup of sugar. Um, no, this is a half a cup of sugar. Three quarter cup water. Um, I got a little bit of um, vanilla bean right here. We're just gonna let it boil up. Vanilla bean, good ones, cut it in two. Let it boil up, then we're gonna remove it later. So, all right, we're getting into it. Right here. Fever grass, lemon grass, okay. Got a little bit of vanilla bean you know what i'm saying i got half a cup of sugar three quarter cups water and this is to like one pound to one pound and a half or no two pound a fig yeah so we're going to make a fig jam today so what we're going to do what we're not going to make it them too small i'm going to make them so you can actually get a bite into it you know we're not going to make it like a fig jam it's going to be more like um, you can taste a big piece of the fig inside of it. So I'm just cutting them and putting them in here. I'm going to let it come to a boil. And you want to start, you can start with everything or you can start making this into a simple syrup then add the fig to it. But I'm going to start with everything at first. And as I straight off over three, out back. Yep. So I'm just cutting them in three. And then we'll take it from there. Oh, oh, oh. Soft and nice. Wash them so with a lot of water. In some of them. And then shoot like that. Look like it's a lot in there, but when it's soft, Boil down, 
we're gonna get a lot of liquid coming out of this extract. It's gonna be sugar liquid, which is good anyway. So that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna, after we finish, we're gonna put them in some bottles and just bottle them up. So we haven't been here for a minute, but you know, busy with a lot of different kind of work going on and, and stuff. But you know, we're not gonna forget you guys. You know, we're gonna show up for you guys all the time. So what we're gonna do now, I'm just gonna add the rest of the sugar in here. You know, rest of the water. Then we're gonna put it like at a medium flames and let it take its time, you know, and start work. You don't wanna put it too high because you don't want the sugar to start burn as well. So the recipe I just gave you is a two pound of fig. I'm saying half a cup sugar, three quarter cup water. If you got vanilla, two, you know, um, tablespoon, teaspoon, two teaspoon of vanilla extract in there. You know what I'm saying? If you have any kind of stuff that you want to add to it, cinnamon, nutmeg, or whatever to give it more flavor, you can. But what we do, we add a little bit of lemongrass to it. Otherwise, no one else, you know? Yeah. So, let's do it. So, we're going to get into it right now. When we come back, we're going onto the flames, let it boil for a while, show you flames, you know, and all of that. Oh, so we get it going all day, every day. Don't forget, tell a friend to tell a friend. Check we out, okay? Channel is still there. Cooking with Chef Puka all day, every day. So, yes, what we do now, we start on the medium flames. Show you guys the flame. Medium flames, not too high. Because you got sugar in there, you don't want the sugar to start it to burn. But if you got started to burn, you're going to lose this. No? Medium flame, just to kind of make the sugar and the water dissolve together without burning. And you don't lose it no? that quick. So don't forget, we're going to go back in there after everything cooked down nicely. And remove those vanilla sticks. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So we have lemongrass in here. You know, otherwise known as fever grass. That's what we call it in Jamaica. Give off a good flavor, you know what I'm saying? A kind of minty flavor with like a strong perfume taste as well. So I try to use this when I'm cooking a lot of food. I use this a lot. And they use this a lot in Thai food as well too. I like the flavor that you give off to the food. So, all right, when we come back, we're going to show you reduce down a little bit, you know, consistent wise and put it in a jar and cool it down and then cover, refrigerator. After you do this, this can stay for two months in the refrigerator. Nice. Eat anytime you feel like. All right. Respect and love. Be back in a minute. So, all right, ladies and gentlemen, this is what we're looking for right here. You know, I think more five more minutes. I think 15 minutes should be good enough. You know, for it to reach where you want it to reach, but the consistent right here. It's a little bit still running. Five more minutes, it shall be good. And I turn down the flames a little bit more. You, know? you want to get bubble like a like a nickel. You know, when it start bubbling like a nickel, that's good. That's the kind of bubble you're looking for. Into it, you don't want it to be too thick. You know. Yeah, and that will make it easy to spread onto your bread or whatever you're going to spread it on. You know what I'm saying? Put in your chakut or a cheese platter or whatever. Perfect like that. So we're going to let it go for five more minutes. You know, until the consistency of the liquid is a little bit better than that. You see that? Yeah, five more minutes and then we're good to go. Alright, so yes, I just turned my fire off. And everything here looking all nice. Lovely, that's what you're looking for, you know, not a lot of, don't cook too much, not nice, still can get a bite out of it, and the sugar content, it's nice, it's not too runny, it's a little bit thick, you know, so what we're going to do, we're going to let it cool off, well, maybe an hour, sit outside and cool off, normally if you want to buckle it right away, you can buckle it hot, and let it cool off so when you open it get that pop a pop but it's not going to stay for three days so 
Everybody's gonna eat this off, so we're just gonna let it cool down, then bottle it. Do what we do. When we come back, we're gonna get into that part of it so you guys can see how we bottle it, okay? Alright. So yes, back again, doing what we do best. Finishing touch, fig jam, you know what I'm saying? With a twist, you know what I'm saying? Lemongrass, you know what I'm saying? Fever grass, aka we call it in Jamaica. Check this out, okay? So yes. Here, we pull out the lemongrass, fever grass, and the vanilla bean sticks right here. You don't want to eat those. Eh, don't want to eat those. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to, this is the consistency you're looking for on the jam. You see it? Thick and nice. I didn't make it like a regular jam puree. I make it with like, still you can get, still get some bite into it. So. What we're gonna do, we're gonna put it in the jar. Yeah, I try a piece earlier, it's really nice, but a little bit too sweet for me, so I'm not gonna have a lot of this. I'm gonna leave it to the professionals who like this, so pull up it like that. Yeah, that's good. Paper towel. Wipe it off, you know. So we here. Cover back on top. This jar is coming straight from Bulgaria. Yeah. We get some apricot jam in there. All day, every day. You know we do. Don't forget, tune into the channel. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Check me out for the next dish. Peace and love. God and protection. Fig jam presentation, you know. Two fig jar leaning on top of it. Look at that. Look nice. Can't wait to have some. I'm gonna take a few pictures so you guys can, you know, get with it. That's the end of the video. Don't forget, like, share, hit the notification bell. Tell a friend. Tell a friend. Peace.